So next topic, we're going to talk a little bit different approach to your configuration, the command line switches. There are many different command line switches for MicroStation, three specifically for configuration purposes, but there are also more command line switches. There's a, a, a good wiki article we'd recommend taking a look. It should be in the links that were sent out in the presentation. So when you're launching MicroStation, you can add command line switches to launch a specific configuration workspace or work set, any combination of the three. So the dash WR, as you see there, specifies the configuration. The dash WK will specify a workspace and the dash WW will specify a work set. And the specific syntax for the dash WR is the entire configuration folder path. And then for the WK and WW, the workspace and work set name respectively will be needed to add it here. Just keep in mind if your workspace or work set names have spaces, you need quotation marks surrounding them or double quotes. So as you see below, here's an example. The C program files, you have the pathway to the microstation executable. This is what's used to launch microstation. Then following that, we have a space, dash WR, and then the entire directory for the configuration folder for that specific custom configuration. And then following that, we have another space, dash WK, and then the name of the workspace, another space, dash WW, and the name of the work set. A common issue we see is if you don't have the backslash after the configuration folder in the dash WR. And we'll see in the next video, just a brief example. The first step is just to type in microstation in the bottom of your windows. So in the search bar here, we're going to pull up the application we're running. Right click the best match here and then open file location. And this is the shortcut that's used to launch microstation 2023. So we're going to make some copies of this and paste to our desktop just for easy access. We'll just make a couple here just to show you an example. And we're going to rename these so we know which one we're accessing. So we'll just name this um, MS 2023 for the ALDAP project. And we'll rename this one here. MS 2023. And this will be the new client's project. And we'll just put them over here. So now we have to edit the command line for our microstation. So let's go to the properties of these copied shortcuts. And we'll add command line switches to this target field here. So in this case, it's going to be dash WR, and then we're going to type the pathway of the configuration folder. And then we're going to add a backslash. And then we're going to add dash WK. The name of the workspace that we're wanting to access is the roadway workspace, and then the dash WW for the work set. We're going to add the name of the work set. Here, since there's spaces in the work set name, we're going to add quotation marks around the name. So we'll hit apply, OK, and then we'll run it. Now, when we open MicroStation with these command lines, it'll open the specific configuration and workspace and work set. So that's good. Looks like it's working. So now we, we will try the other one. But this is a really good tool to use when you are a CAD manager, want, you want your users to access a specific configuration. This is a really good way to ensure that happens. We'll do the same thing over here for the new client project. So we'll add a space, dash WR, and then the pathway of the configuration. And I forgot to add that you need to have a space in between each of these command line switches. And that backslash for the configuration folder is important as well. So we'll add the workspace name, facilities, work set. There's no space there, so we don't need quotation marks. Hit apply and OK, and we'll run it just to be sure it works. And you can see here, facilities, building A. So we got everything 
configured properly there. So these are just um, good ways, good methods to make sure that your users are running the required configuration. Yes, and just to reiterate, it is a great way to ensure your users are running the correct standards in their microstation environment. It's going to be different for everyone, but as a rule of thumb, those command line switches are a great tool to use, especially if you have multiple clients with specific custom configurations. So in addition to the managed configuration dialog, those are good, good uh, tools to use. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you, and see you next time.